Probably. Starting a younger dog, if you can get them to keep their focus on the handler instead of looking back at the cart. That was a very positive pull for her first time out on the cart. This is my child. This is my child. Oh! Good boy. Let me get the old loud one. Come on. Stop. Stop. Over here, you can't go that way. Come on, crazy dog. Two more and we get treat treat. Rocky up treats, don't you ready? Alright, let's go. Thanks, my boy. Work, buddy. Did you work hard? You did. Worked real hard? Get you no treat. Can I have your harness? Come here. trophies they belong to the animal. When they go to champion to champion they send you a plaque and that's an ace of ace. Which one's that? Here you have your white pull ace. That's what you get when you're on your championship. Uh-huh. Then when you get to the next level, champion to champions, that's ace of ace. These are back all the way to 1978. Uh, I actually started my kennel in 1980. Uh, and these three dogs back here with CJ and Mama's Girl and another one, uh, Daughtry's Tocho and Johnson's Diamond Lil were where I started my bloodlines. Uh, I've not done a lot of inbreeding or line breeding. Most of mine's been outcrosses. Uh, I've only got one actual inbreeding. Turned out real good. The puppies were good and the grand puppies were good, but uh, it's just something I haven't done a lot of. I don't believe in inbreeding. I'd rather outcross. Uh, I think it makes for stronger genetics. That's just me. He was the number one ADBA dog in the United States in 2010.